Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome back to my channel. This is your favorite, Divine Light. And today we're going to be looking into your December, uh, the four weeks. We're going to separate that in the cup. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy your reading. We're going to start off with your symbols right here. I'm going to pull the symbols. This wants to come forward. Okay, let's pull that one as well. And then I'm going to move on to your coffee cup and the saucer. While I'm actually going through that, we're going to talk about your missing ingredient here. This is going to be actually something that will show you what you need to do, who you need to become in order to achieve success. I will also do a general tarot as well as the romance tarot. And um, this is going to be your final card. I'm going to put it and put it on the side. This is going to be the roadmap to success. And we're also going to look up um, something from this. We have the instant magic oracle, a message of guidance, advice, or confirmation from this one as well. Let's see. We have the sun is shining beautifully. Marriage. Okay. Okay. Sun is marriage, happiness, and well-being. Marriage can be um partnership as well okay a legal partnership happening with maybe a company a person or a good friendship but i feel like commitment commitment is the key word here bad we have take care enemies are working against you this is also the things are going well but i feel like there might be a little bit like effects of evil eye behind the curtain that you're not really aware of it can come up as like the effects of the evil eye maybe it's not going to show up in uh, the face of like a um, massive uh, like interruption or disruption it can be like a, a feeling heavy um, maybe tired that kind of like it can show up that way okay by the way if you go on to enjoy this reading don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to give some love to the channel i'm going to jump off and see what's happening in your cup i already see like a big uh, pile of like um money or uh, accumulation of something i see here it is on the edge of the cup so some things the waves are actually accumulating clouds are accumulating we can say it that way as well within the first two weeks of the month you might start to get some sort of like a collection or some things that you have been saving can be growing adding on top of each other and this is actually something very optimistic i feel um like a positive accumulation here positive successful things coming ahead another thing i see here is like there is a actually a face of a horse okay this is the eye of the horse this is actually a horse hair and we have the mouth of the horse this can be like a white horse with like a black mouth and the white horse is a very good sign it's like the phoenix actually flying towards you symbolizing that you are on the right path and whatever that you have as a desire uh, is going to start galloping coming towards you very soon maybe the second week of december you might start to actually see the signs and symbols of it or literally just can manifest in your life i see there's a woman here her head is covered okay so and she has like a hammer in her hand raising up the hammer i see a letter a under her can be her first name or the last name i want to say ada or ida ada um i don't even know if that's like a name but a i d a that just popped in like as a word in my head uh, that can be something actually, someone coming ahead, helping you out. This can be the name of a city or a place that you want to travel. And when she's holding up here, like initially I saw a hammer, but now I see like something like a dumbbell that she's lifting up. Can be also like a cup or a trophy that she has in her hand. The head covering can symbolize maybe this person is a little bit like um um traditional and secretive it's not a bad thing to be secretive because this can be someone actually uh like a queen of wands which is your energy queen of wands actually she makes her moves in silence this is your mask feminine side so you might be actually um doing things as if right now maybe nobody knows about it that uh slowly but surely building towards your goals desires your future life and this can be like maybe some a trophy that you're going to collect in this first week of uh, december first week coming up and you will have achieved success and maybe you're not going to hide your success anymore you're just going to show it right away I, I feel like the sun is actually is going to illuminate your life 
and you're going to show it. The marriage can, like I said, marriage is actually a legal contract that ties two pe people together. So this can be like also like a job uh, that ties two people together. And what we have here, the stone, and I don't know if you guys know anything about the alchemy. This is actually the symbol of the alchemy. Uh, these are these like the circle, the square, and like this is all intertwined. This is a symbol of the alchemy that represents this, uh, that philosopher's stone, if you guys know about that. The philosopher's stones, we can actually see it, uh, read about it in the book of The Alchemist. And also, like if you are Harry Potter fans, <laughs> like I am, uh, th actually that stone is mentioned there as well. So, um, this is the creation the stone is the creation here that represents that something is on the like making right now and i see in your heart there's like a mystery at this moment maybe your desire is not really clear or your path is not really clear at this moment but it seems like you see there's actually a shooting star right there a meteor actually flying like dropping to this land and opening up space here there's going to be like a mutation happening there the second week is actually a continuation of the first week but i see three heads here now three heads can mean two things i see two three people actually lifting up cups this can be three of cups celebration success um actual recognition of your success three of pentacles can be teamwork we can also merge both of them together it can be like the people that you're working with maybe you're building things with people that are aligned with your energy and you guys are going to finally start to see the result of your success okay and actually your uh channel message came forth as like the creation is finished every desire you have has an alternate reality all you have to do is to match the vibe okay uh so like matching the vibe this is actually a very uh deep conversation if you listen to abraham hicks and maybe even like wayne dyer um the feel the love gratitude is a multiplier use that tool if you actually like dive deeper into this manifestation law uh, law of attraction uh, rabbit hole you can actually learn what matching the vibe is deeper that just came forth as a message maybe this is something there is something that you need to hear in that field we have a person's face right here kind of looks like a male to me he's looking at like this flower bouquet flower bouquet symbolizes love this person might have some sort of like a loving feelings towards you maybe they want to come forward within towards the end of the second week i see like there are three big news actually dropping this person might be contemplating about coming forward separate from that i see like a fish hanging here fish usually symbolizes money so maybe after the celebration you're gonna get some sort of like um money offer upgrade promotion something like that or maybe um like this is actually three people coming together i see a person's face right here too and the snake actually had this person has a snake on top of his face snake can be enlightenment this person may be going to understand how big of a work that you have in your hand this can be an angel investor this can be a person that you're working with working for they're going to come to understand like enlightenment coming to them with the energy of the snake how uh snakes um i i interpret this in the sense of the kundalini energy the double helix wrapping around each other that's actually the way that i'm interpreting it right now there's another meaning to it that can mean health matters this person can be in the medical field as well your success can be in the medical field also and i see there's like a fish coming forward maybe you're selling something you're making some sort of like a progress uh, which will bring you an abundance Another thing, you have many symbols in your cup. I see another woman here. Kind of reminds me of the Empress energy. This woman has like a crown on top of her head. And she's holding one of these like heart-shaped uh, lights. Like the gifts coming in down to earth from the sky for you. Women can be a Taurus or a Libra. Because Empress is a Taurus or a Libra energy. Another thing with the Empress is she's the creator um nurturer okay the creator is actually a creator of all that is all encompassing energy we're all connected to it directly so it can be uh like a masculine and feminine merging together and creating one thing but feminine energy is going to be more, more prominent this month around for you meaning this can be someone 
Libra or Taurus actually coming up with like a good support that you need and nurturing that you need maybe an agreement I even see two people masculine and feminine another masculine I saw here we have the marriage maybe you're coming together with someone and this thing that she's holding can be the flower bouquet of the marriage this can be perfect soulmate relationship because it's not going to be only like the general idea we're going to also see the romance cards here for you so this can be a good relationship a soulmate relationship also forming within the third week beginning of the third week maybe and um i feel like you're gonna be the feminine energy here you're gonna be attracting this person into your life that's what the feminine does masculine is the one that takes the action feminine is the one who actually um creates where she is like the um, earth energy so uh, it doesn't matter that this is not gender related i feel like this is the energy related so it's about like actually aligning your mindset with what you truly want out of a relationship clear intention good intention is focused intention is important here i also see someone lifting up their arms maybe like trying to make you scare you but in a good sense like um, their hands are up in the air you see the face right there is a weird face uh, this can be like a childlike personality like spooky um like um like a prank type of a thing they're doing here they have positive intentions that i don't see negative intentions this can be someone maybe you it's been a long time you haven't seen someone younger someone from the family with like a childish attitude or maybe even a child coming into your life maybe uh like a younger sibling or a grandchild if that's the case that you're going to spend time with and i see here that you have like a heart shape above your head and there's even a gift that you're actually shaking maybe you're going to give to this person get it ready towards the end of the month i see a little boat here that you're getting on and like really fast energy you're moving on and the pathway is opening here i don't know if you're planning to travel maybe towards the end of the year for the christmas for the new year's and it's showing up this i don't feel like this is something planned because it shows up in the last minute within the third week towards the end of the third week and the fourth week the pathway is opening i see there are two people masculine people one younger gentleman he's holding a t in his hand timothy can be in their first name or the last name and i see another person right here kind of like has a goatee with like little horns can be capricorn energy here um the other person t hmm that can be a Sagittarius as well. Um, family members, masculine energies. It seems like they might really even arrange this kind of like a trip for you. Maybe you're going to just take a you know a little uh, vacation with them. Okay, let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be. There's actually like a half heart. I see here your energy field is intact your desire coming extremely fast as you can see there's like no doubt at all however there is a half heart here something is missing okay missing ingredient is what we said is the stone we have here for you the eternal the rock uh the alchemy the philosopher's stone so something that uh the missing ingredient is actually the the missing ingredient is the missing ingredient okay that didn't really make any sense so i'm gonna clarify that so the ph philosopher's stone is actually something mythological they don't believe that exists but that stone actually is the key to turn the metal into gold okay if you can obtain that you can turn metal into gold so um but the good thing here is that's coming up for you so if you're looking for it it's right here so it's right here right it's right within you but here it says here here it says here double side okay uh what i see from the stone one of the heart the, the the other side of the heart is missing and the other side is because you're fire you're already an action taker the suggestion here is actually anchoring your wild side down to earth okay the stone energy because stone is actually a slow energy it is anchored to the earth it is commanding maybe it is desiring for you to a little bit ground yourself ground your desires do not leave them on the air do not leave them 
and the uh, like only in your in your mind start to maybe uh, take steady and slow actions towards it just make one thing do one thing at a time because i feel like there are two people holding hands here if you need partnership there's a massive fish also or financials to make this happen they're all showing up here, but your action is necessary. Maybe you need to take one action at a time, inspired action, not like rushed or worried or anxiety-driven action. That's the missing missing ingredient here, okay? Slowly but surely, um, making a plan, maybe a tangible plan and taking steps towards it, okay? And um, so another thing came forward as a message with the stone is do not let the dark side weigh you down but the light side keep you grounded in the present connect with peace that's what came forward the dark side is actually um pessimistic thoughts negative people negative environments the people naysayers basically because whatever this is i feel like this is about like purchasing something or like even if you're feeling uh, old or young whatever the case is with you maybe you have a certain goal you want to work in a certain place or you want to give certain type of service this is actually telling you this is possible for you okay you are the philosopher's stone you have the gem within within you but you need to start grounding that start taking action and just push away the naysayers and negativity okay that's the missing part here your heart is like a uh, half I mean, you're not fully in it, maybe, also. You're just holding on to it, like, with your tip of your fingers, not, like, with your fist right here, okay? And I see there are people holding your hands. Like, when you say, okay, this is what I want, when you make the final decision, the people are going to be showing up. There are two different pathways opening. There's another opportunity coming. Like, whatever is necessary for you. I see a massive whale actually jumping out of the water. A whale can symbolize someone wealthy and good-natured coming forward. I even see there's a cup right there. The cup is empty right now, but I feel like it is filling. The water is flowing inside of it. I see a W as a win here. Uh, the cup indicates emotional fulfilling new offer. Even the offers that you need at this moment is going to start, like they're going to be starting to flow into your life when you feel like, okay, this is what I want. I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to make this happen. And be aware of the bat. That's, I feel like that's what is the enemies are working against you. I don't feel like the enemy is like such in a, like a people intentionally doing something against you. I feel like this is the energy of the naysayers. You might have a couple people. They might not really have like an optimistic view in life. Be aware of them. Do not just go uh, get on their boat, okay? Let's see the general part of your tarot. If you have a desire, a question, an intention, it's good to focus on that. We're going to look. start by looking into your current situation. Let me cut the deck. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. It seems like financially you're going to be in a very good place very soon. King of Pentacles can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We had the Empress in your cup. I saw a massive whale coming, just jumping out of the water here, maybe within the second, towards the end of the second, beginning of the third week of the month. King of Pentacles can be that person actually coming ahead. This can also indicate someone from the government. Maybe if you have any like legal things happening, this can mean that authority actually settling down with you. If you have like an agreement or disagreement, that might be like a discussion happening. We have Page of Pentacles coming right after him. This is actually a new endeavor. The thing is, maybe the King of Pentacles is the Earth energy. Maybe the authority at this moment is not really agreeing with you. Maybe like the bull is actually being a little stubborn because Taurus, as far as I know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they tend to have the stubbornness to them. But now Page of Pentacles is like stepping down, basically. We have here the gnome actually showing up, also symbolizing the wealth and abundance of the universe, the earth. And it seems like here, uh, stepping down and easing down, it is going to evolve from maybe being a force to actually a friend to you, okay? Uh, the internal or external factors, I feel like this is both. Maybe you are feeling left out in the cold. Maybe you're feeling like there's no help at this moment or... Um, this can be internally as well. Maybe you're feeling alone. However, you can see here, they're not alone initially. And the second thing is, there is actually light inside of the church, a light inside of the building. So there is an option. You have an option here. You don't have to stay in that. Um, these factors are affecting the wealth and opportunity here. So 
uh, I feel like um, currently maybe in your physical situation you have this kind of left out in the cold energy but internally you're feeling the same way you need to keep the hope up because the things are going to get much better than you can fathom how the outcome will be the rest is coming forward so i feel like with on the bottom the clarifies is the why are you going to be resting why are you going to be recuperating because you're going to find that success because you're going to find that wheel of fortune um coming for you jackpot is going to come for you so you're going to have the chance to actually rest he's sleeping right here by the way she's actually coming up with a flower but uh, this is showing that even though you're resting you're going to have full support from the people surrounding you from the universe they're going to come forward to check you out and i feel like this is going to happen you're going to be able to rest because you're going to get the comfort financial comfort maybe even emotional support at the same time so you're going to have a chance to say you know what i'm tired now this issue tired me now i can sit down and lay down and rest a little bit then i'm going to recuperate we're going to start on the new project you can actually relax let's see get some clarifiers who is this king of pentacles okay this is the main gentleman came forward here this can be a person that is in your life that is the main character here that you're dealing with this can be love issue as well someone may be more on the material side of the things not on the emotional side of the things but he has a rose in his hand i feel like he or she this can be the person who's actually doing the action maybe the person who needs to take the action and move the things and the authority maybe this can be the authority that you're dealing with at the same time as well we're going to look into the romance so i'm going to go with the authority it can be maybe a government that you're dealing with because we have the patriarchy today um it seems like they're gonna come with like a loving offer the rose that he's holding can indicate that page of pentacles like i said the things are gonna be easing down and we have the ship here you're going to be sailing from choppy waters to the calmer shores the things are going to actually work out better than you can imagine i see like family members on the here this can be your bloodlines or maybe chosen families friends that are supporting you it seems like you're going to be setting off to a new adventure you're not going to get stuck where you are okay that's how the things will evolve the effects are we have another women here okay left out in the cold maybe i feel like the negativity of a person how come a negativity of a person can affect you this can be a person who is the naysayer that i kept saying like a couple times the bat that we're talking about that can be the person that is actually bringing you down this can be a person you know maybe you're talking to always like talking to you about the negativity of the world or this can be someone who wronged you in the past there's some attachment still you're feeling maybe there's no forgiveness can happen because sometimes um when you forgive sometimes this person is always in your face in your family or in your uh, working environment you might have to just you know say yes to the things that you want to say no but that's not what forgiveness means forgiveness is letting go completely it doesn't mean that allow this person to do the same mistakes or uh, let you out in the cold again okay so boundary is actually going to strong boundaries i feel like here is going to be the solution to bring the wheel of fortune the wheel of success to you and this doesn't have to like this can be a person that you trust or this can be a situation that is actually weighing you down you can keep that in mind as well and final result is the stairways to the heaven options you're going to even if you don't feel like you have options at this moment it seems like with the number 22 two is partnership the partnership we have masculine and the feminine coming forward the energy is going to align here you're going to have that perfect partnership and that partnership even leads you to like a, a successful pathways here As you see we have the sunshine one door the other one we have the clouds e either way i feel like you're going to make the right choice and you're going to actually hit the jackpot with the wheel of fortune that will result in a very good situation and with that you're going to be able to actually um you know have some rest you don't have to dwell on what has been okay let's see what's your romance messages if you have like a specific person in your mind it's good to focus on their energy so we can get clear answers for that person and um, maybe if you really want to know what they're thinking let's see okay judgment okay th there might be some sort of like um 
misunderstanding with this person or uh, there might be some issues happen between you guys maybe it didn't settle yet the judgment indicates this person is actually feeling like they're ready to uh, start again okay maybe they are going to they are the one who did the thing they are ready to say sorry they read to you know reconcile uh, re reconciliate or they're re ready to express their actually sadness because i feel like they feel you are the like a main center point of your their life so they're ready to forgive and forget the past and if they're not the one actually uh, who needs the forgiveness maybe they're gonna come forward and ask for your forgiveness okay your physical connection looks actually fire we have a chariot here so it seems like there's uh, maybe the things actually move forward really fast or if it haven't already it will start to move okay and the spiritual connection is there's a fear okay the fear of what fear of marriage we have the hierophant on the bottom nine of swords energy maybe mm -hmm, you're the fire sign fire signs tend to be uh, loving their freedom most of the time and if that's the case with you maybe this is your fear now maybe you don't really want to connect uh, commit um, commit for a long time and um but like whatever the situation is this person is going to accept however you whatever that you desire maybe your desire is to get married or your desire to not to get married or not to commit but they're going to be down to whatever your um offer is okay the long-term outcome is going to be ten of pentacles okay you're going to it seems like this person wants to have longevity and like a long-term family maybe raise family together have financial uh security together maybe like um have this like a long-term structure with you and that's looking like the long-term outcome let's get your clarifiers here with the judgment do we have like a specific okay the eight of pentacles this person is working on themselves okay maybe they did the mistake they are aware of it and they're changing they're tra trying to change themselves so they can actually um have this beautiful relationship with you in the future because they're planning something for the long term so they are working on themselves maybe going through therapy learning new things and a physical uh connection actually seems like with the ace of pentacles we have the chariot here this person thinks for the long term like financial success maybe not really only financial but also wine and dine you have like a long-term thing they don't want to just play around they want to just you know maybe even move in together and have like a um like connection for the long term with you spiritual connection three of pentacles like even though the situation is looking like the fearful maybe you're fearful of marriage they're fearful of marriage whatever it is three of pentacles indicates teamwork you need to just start to work together with this person speak out and um, when you actually express your desires they're going to be down to it and the third person can be maybe a therapist a third person that you're going to get help from which is totally feasible and that can be really helpful to actually climb up this mountain and do a great work together okay we have the father of wands this is actually fire energy aries leo sagittarius energy i feel like this can be your end as well but um this person i'm going to th assume like um, the one going to take action they're not going to stay too long too far away uh, ten of pentacles because they're planning for the future already maybe they all started to like put down the seeds already they're going to like uh, take it action they're going to make their move very soon okay all right let's see your message of confirmation advice or guidance from this instant magic i'm going to this is a book so i'm just going to open up a page and see intuition challenge came forth for you okay what does a bird mean to you how do you connect with this image this is the image here if you're really stuck turn to page 509 for some psychic prompts we're going to look up to that birds usually indicates news coming ahead okay message of confirmation or guidance can be maybe you actually reaching out to the person to the place that you're concerned about maybe if you have specific subject in your mind and you have a phone number that you can call go ahead and call that number just send out the news maybe that will resolve the situation for you and if this is about a person maybe just pick up the phone and call that person let's see what's on the 509 i feel like it's the, the explanation of the, yes the bird 
Do we have the birds? Yes. Birds can mean strength, fertility, protection, productivity, and important message on the way. That's how I interpret it. But this can also mean this other good things for you. Okay. Let's see your final roadmap to success. A clairvoyance, inspiration, interpre interpretation, and trust. Okay. This is basically suggesting that follow your inspiration your and then your um, intuitive guidance is going to be very important. And interpreting that inspiration also, not only getting stuck and seeing the things as they are, like the bird that we saw as like, I saw it like a news message coming forward, but it has other meanings as well. So everything coming into your life is going to have different meanings too. And also afterwards, trust your interpretation. That's going to actually lead you to success. Okay. That's going to bring that uh, overall success for the month and the rest of the year probably okay all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye